Hey everybody, Derek here from Badgerland Birding. Today we're going to go over some common backyard bird calls along with some mnemonic devices that you can use to remember them. Mnemonic devices are just little tips that uh, help you remember specific bird calls. Some of these have them, other ones I'll just kind of describe a little bit, but here are some calls you might hear out in your backyard if you live in Central or Eastern North America. Keep in mind that a lot of these birds also have other calls that they make, so just because you don't hear them making this particular call doesn't mean it's not actually that species. First one we're going to go through is the beautiful northern cardinal, which sounds like cheer, 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 purdy, purdy, purdy. Next up is the blue jay. That can kind of sound like JJJ or jeer, jeer, jeer. Next up we have the black cap chickadee, which sounds like chickadee, d d, or they also have kind of a two note call, which I've heard be known as the springtime call. It kind of sounds like cheeseburger. Next up we have the American Robin, which kind of sounds like cheer up, cheer up, cheerily. But they also make a lot of variations of this, especially in the morning, they'll often be up in a tree calling, making a variety of similar noises to that mnemonic device. Next up is the American Goldfinch, which kind of sounds like per chicory. Also, if they're in flight, they make a sound that kind of sounds like they're saying potato chip. Morning dove, which is one of the classic calls you might hear growing up. Sometimes people actually think doves are owls because they sound kind of similar, but the morning dove is going to make a very distinctive call that sounds like hoo 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 hoo. <laughs> then we have the house finch, which makes a call that kind of sounds like zuri, and they use this in kind of a melodic song as well, but you'll probably hear some of those zuris in the house finch call. Probably one of the cutest woodpeckers in North America, the downy woodpecker. They will make some uh, trilling kind of noises, but their single note call sounds like pick. Another woodpecker that looks similar to the downy but larger is the hairy woodpecker. And they have a similar call to the downy, but it's a little sharper and it sounds more like peak as opposed to pick. Another woodpecker, the red-bellied woodpecker, kind of makes a chur chur sound. Um, they also kind of sound just like lasers when you hear them too. The house sparrow makes kind of a chipping, chidick, chidick noise. They're not really going to have a melodic call, they just make kind of those dry chipping notes. The barred owl makes a call like, who cooks for you, who cooks for you. I've also heard some people say it sounds like, who cooks for you, who cooks for you all, with that little extra note at the end. Some people say the great horned owl call sounds like it's saying, are you awake? Me too. I think of it as more just the single who. So where the barred owl has that who cooks for you, the great horned owl is more just like who, 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 who. They just make kind of the, the hoots. <laughs> the house run makes a very melodic trilly kind of call with a lot of different parts to it. It sounds fairly complicated and it's very distinctive if you have them nesting in your yard. The gray catbird, named because it makes kind of these cat-like meow sounds, they can also make very melodic calls as well, almost something similar to like a mockingbird. The Carolina wren, which is very vocal, is going to make a tea kettle, tea kettle, tea kettle call. 
And normally if they're calling, they will call for a long time without stopping. The red-breasted nuthatch kind of sounds like it's laughing, and it'll make an ank, ank, ank call. The white-breasted nuthatch also kind of sounds like it's laughing, but it'll make more of an an, an, an call, along with a lot of other vocalizations. For the dark-eyed junko, they make a lot of different calls, but for this one you hear kind of a chipping trill. For Eastern Bluebird, the mnemonic device is Cheer Cheerful Charmer, and they kind of have a lot of different melodic sounds in their call as well. So this can be heard throughout their various calls. For tufted titmouse, probably one of my favorite, and I think the easiest one to grasp is they sound like they're saying, Peter, Peter, Peter. The American crow sounds like caw, caw, caw. You've probably heard this one before uh, when people are describing what crows sound like, so that's a pretty easy one. Eastern towhees make a lot of different noises, but one of their more distinctive calls sounds like they're saying, drink your tea. The white-throated sparrow has a really cool mnemonic device. They sound like they're saying, oh sweet Canada, Canada. The northern mockingbird is going to make a lot of different noises because they do copy other birds, but they'll have a very melodic song with some of those other species calls as well. So if you hear one of the other birds, definitely double check to make sure it's not a northern mockingbird. Well, I hope you found this video helpful and that you're able to go out and identify some of the common birds in your backyard. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to comment, like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time on Badgerland Birding.